Hello and welcome back to Morningville Community Library uh, Cozy Corner Crafts. So today is going to be our last um, Christmas one and it'll go all on December 19th and it's going to be another snowman. But this one you're going to be able to hang from your Christmas tree. So what you're going to get is you're going to get eight circles and they're two different sizes. So these are the same size, but these ones are different. Okay, so this one is going to be the head of the snowman and this is going to be the body of the snowman. So you're only gonna get two different size of circles. Then you're going to get a piece of orange and you're going to get a brown and you're also going to get a ribbon. So what you're going to need for your craft is you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need some glue. So I put my scissors away, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your four top pieces of your snowman and you're going to fold them in half. Remember how we did the ladybug and how we had the folded circles? So we're going to do that. So now we're going to take our second one and we're just going to keep folding them until we have all four of our head ones done. So three and four. Now we're going to take our body ones and we're going to do exactly the same thing. Okay, so our fourth one is done. Now we're also going to take, what we're going to do next is we are going to take our brown piece of paper and I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see what I'm going to do. So here I have my four big pieces and I have my thing, my stick. It's going to be arms for your snowman. So remember how we made the snowman arms the last time? How we cut them like we had folded it in half and we're going to cut this and then we're going to go maybe about here. We don't want them too big. So this is going to be one arm and these are going to be his hands. So we're going to do exactly the same with the other one. So we got that piece and then we've got this one. So I'm going to make his hands first because that's going to be kind of important. So I'm going to use a glue stick again just because it takes a while for mine to dry. the one part and again if you guys are going to use a hot glue gun be very careful because I don't want you to burn your hands it's not fun to have burned hands so I'm going to do the same with this one because it's going to do a little bit different there we go so his hands are going to stick up farther this time See if I have enough hot glue. They're going to be a little funny, but that's okay. So now what we're going to start to do is we're going to start gluing the pieces of your snowman together. So I'm going to put these two together. And then I'm going to put these two together. Okay. So when it's done, it's going to look like a ball. It's going to be a ball. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the ribbon and we're going to 
glue it onto the bottom of our bottom, but the top part of the the bottom ball. Because what we're gonna do is there's the first one, and here is the second part. So now I have my ribbon. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put my arms for the snowman right about there. And now it's starting to look kind of funny, isn't it? But now what we're going to do is we're going to take the other piece of our snowman, the second circle, and we're going to glue it onto the, the other side of our snowman. So now, does it look like a snowman? Maybe a tiny bit? So now what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same as we did with the bottom, except what we're going to do is we're going to put the carrot for his nose. So I want to let you guys know that if you want to do something else with your snowman, you can do whatever you like. Remember, just because I do it this way doesn't mean you have to do it. So if you want to put some eyes on your snowman, you can. And now we're going to take this piece. Now, what do you think this piece is going to be? And what does a snowman have? Does he have a pickle or a nose? Does he have a apple for a nose? What does he have? Probably telling me already that he has a carrot for a nose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a carrot shape with my piece of orange. So you can make it a small carrot, you can make it a big carrot, it's up to you. But I think this is going to be a nice carrot for my snowman. So we're going to put it, I'm going to put it right there. That looks like a good spot for a snowman nose. So if you guys wanted to, you could actually put on this side and this side, you could put a black circle, uh, draw a black circle onto it, and that could be his eyes. Or what you could do is, if you wanted to make it, you could put a carrot on this side, and then you could put a carrot on this side. So it could be, no matter where you, he is, you can see the carrot. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to take our ribbon, and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on here. Remember, whatever you're doing, you've got to be careful, right? So now I'm going to take my ribbon and make sure that my ribbon is in the middle of my snowman. So that's actually going to keep it so it's nice and stiff. And now I'm going to put the back of the snowman's head on. And there is your Christmas ornament of the snowman. I hope you guys like it. And if you did something different than I did, can you show it to us? Send us an email at info at Morningdale Library. And we would love to see your snowman. And uh, we are going to be closed the 24th, the 25th, the 
26 for Christmas, and then we're going to be closed on the 31st and the 1st of the new year. So we're going to be closed for five days. So I hope you like it. And that turned out pretty cool little snowman. He might fit really nicely on your Christmas tree. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.